Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vainglory 5v5 Rank with me, Rickless. On today's episode, we are using some Captain Arden. And this is actually an extremely frustrating match. So this is a pre-recorded video. And the main reason why it's pre-recorded and I'm doing a voiceover is because as you can see right above me, there's me actually playing the match and talking. Well, maybe not right now. Maybe I'm just here waiting for the for me to start. <laughs> um, if it's not up right now, it'll be up in like in a few minutes or so. Uh, besides that, 120 likes, like goal, like usual. Once that gets broken, I will be posting another video shortly after it gets broken. And yeah, that's if you want to see an earlier video. Help smash that like button. <laughs> Helps me be motivated to record more. But besides that, there is another screen right above me with me actually playing the match. So you get to see all my facial expressions and how I acted during the match. But unfortunately, unfortunately for myself, I was muted the whole match until the end of the match where the scoreboard is at. I'm not going to say whether we won or lost. We don't know. You guys don't know. I do know. I'm gonna keep that as a secret. It might have been a loss because it was a very frustrating match. <laughs> uh, but it really sucks that I was muted. I was trying to point out some really good points about the whole community itself and whatever. Like I tried to bring positivity to the community. I really don't like pointing out people like the last match didn't really I hate when I actually point out people just because I do get a lot of comments that get directed to the person I point out and even though they might deserve it because they're being toxic it, it's not the right thing for me to be player shaming and stuff like that even though it's not my intention to player shame uh, you guys are watching me play and all my expressions are real basically I it's me playing real life and how I feel when someone is making it very unenjoy making the game unenjoyable for the rest of the people just because they feel like <laughs> they need to be the center of the attention in some sense uh, but anyways so this is a captain match uh, the reason I played the captain was because I already played all five roles so that, since you guys already know, I'm, pl I'm doing this series where I play a role and until I play all five, I get I cannot choose that role, basically. And I cannot repeat heroes until a new patch, bef until the heroes get updated. So Arden, I haven't played them this, um, this patch, 4.2. 4.3 is around the corner, so I'm going to be able to repeat a few of the heroes. So yeah, let's get into this game. Um, so it's just a voiceover. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this voiceover is because it is important for me to be posting every single match with its win or loss, like I said, I would, <clears throat> until I reach VG. Well, I mean, I always, if I record, I, there's a high chance I'm going to post it even if I lose. Luckily, usually I end up winning and I don't have to post many losses. <laughs> even though I probably lose... 30% of the time, 40% of the time. Luckily, I haven't. I I, I don't record my losses. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I am just getting very lucky, and I mean, maybe this is where my luck gets uh, broken on this match. So, anyways, around here, I'm probably commentating like, oh, oh, this is very interesting. So we have a mid Koshka. I also point out that I've been playing very badly throughout the match be just because I was distracted talking a lot and then there, I, I, I'm going to warn you, there's a lot of chat happening in this match, a lot of it. So stick around, I know it's a little bit different, voiceover might be a little bit more boring. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit entertaining, I don't know, maybe talk about little life stories about myself just to keep it a little bit more exciting. <laughs> maybe you guys get to know me a little bit better. But besides that. Uh, I will still be analyzing the game and talk talking about what I could have done better. So as usual, when I play Captain, I typically start with a Storm Banner 
just because it helps me <laughs> like right here I was I was I was just talking and I didn't realize how low I was and I was there um, so I start with storm banner just because it helps my laner my mid laner get their CP faster so they won't miss as much farm when they're out of their lane and besides that Arden is a fantastic hero to actually have storm crown just because like in the previous match, I think it was the previous match, right? Where I said, who's going to take the dragon? One Arden versus my four allies? Spoiler alert, Arden took it from the... If you didn't watch the last episode, it's pretty funny. It's my first time using Elva. And it was an, it was an interesting match, I would say. <clears throat> Hopefully, I was entertaining. But yeah, an Arden was able to take a dragon when I have four of my allies up. Okay, so I'm here, use my boots. Once again, I was talking to the camera a little too long. Noticed the talk a little too late, and we can tell that there was already something happening with the Gwen and the Taka. So I'm right here. I was like, maybe I could distract, lower the the Grump Jaw enough for Gwen uh, for Maline to pick it up. And I was a little disappointed. <laughs> so here we go. Taka already saying. Hope you like losing Elo because I'm throwing. At this point, I'm like, well, I'm recording and I don't mind posting it. Like I said, I'm keeping this series true and true. We'll post anything that I get to record, whether it's a win or loss. <laughs> so I keep I keep my cool. I just mention it like that to see maybe they might not want to do it. Maybe not throw because it's going to be recorded and be seen by a few thousand people. <laughs> um... But there you go, Gwen and the Taka are arguing throughout the whole match, basically, and yeah. So here we are, we are still struggling with the mid Kashka just because the amount of burst that the Kashka was able to bring. Uh, Kashka does, is being fed quite early. So, Kashka is an early hero and is specifically a very. What am I heading towards? It's especially bursty when she's ahead. So, besides being strong early game, being ahead in early game is just a terrifying combo. I mentioned. My Mute Self mentioned. Um, this might be an easy match. Even though I'm captain, might be an easy match because we have range against a melee mid. I totally jinx myself. <laughs> Alright, so we... Uh, as you can see, you could read these. This is probably the first time... Most of these comments on the chat is the first time I'm going to be reading them because this is my first time looking through this. I just recorded this 20 minutes ago. So this is my first time looking at my own recording. Oh, and I realized that that was a funny part. Uh, so I started, I was going to write a message. You guys, you guys are going to see what I write. I'm trying to just keep everybody to calm down and just have fun, honestly. That's the whole point of this game. Like, I, I really hate how the the game has been heading towards a very toxic vibe like a lot of people are leaving just because there's a lot of people that just like to talk with chat and say that they're gonna be throwing that you're trash you suck sure everybody has bad games that's the thing no one's gonna play perfect i don't play perfect as you guys can see throughout my videos i post matches where i play absolutely horribly I just happen to get a lot of kills somehow towards the late game. Or usually, every time I record, I talk a lot. I try to talk to you guys, have fun talking about it, and maybe I should actually go back to talking about the game. <laughs> well, it is, this is about talking about the game, but anyways, anyway, I'm here just trying to put a positive message saying, can we just calm down and have fun how the game is supposed to be? Because it, it really saddens me that the game has been heading towards a place where a lot of people don't want to play just because 
everyone not everyone but I mean a lot of people like to just talk and talk and talk to make someone feel bad and that really sucks so once again have the storm banner helping out the mid laner as much as I can I think I do get fountain obviously right after the banner uh, because I, I only need the banner for the early game to help out the mid mid laner uh, the storm crown I do get it just because whenever I want to do something by myself and steal something it's a great item Let's to have especially on Arden. Arden's so great in stealing stuff I mean I witnessed that first hand last match where an Arden for the for the fourth time that I mentioned took a dragon from four of us four of us being up I was not so it's all my allies fault <laughs> but yeah Storm Crown, good item. I was contemplating throughout the whole match whether I should just go full damage just because I thought that the Taka was actually gonna throw. As we can see, the Taka is playing. He's not really throwing at the moment. Nothing comes that might be foreshadowing the future, <laughs> by the way. <clears throat> but we're here. I am contemplating going full damage after getting my Storm Crown. But I, I do mention, I don't know if you ever, if you could read, read my lips, I do end up saying, you know what, I'm just going to trust the people that are actually trying to play the game, that they will carry me in the late game. It is very difficult right now, since the Kashka is super ahead, the Ringo is being pushed quite a bit, because I guess Taka isn't rotating as much towards top, and the Grump Jaw was... I'm not sure at the moment he was probably living at top so I made it hard on the Ringo <clears throat> but yeah I ended up deciding to just go full captain and hoping that the late game I'm able to provide enough protection to whoever's doing the most damage okay so I see the grump right here I'm hoping we could get the grump and as we can see, our Malin has just been too far behind that our Malin is struggling to put out the damage. Typically, you see Malin is doing destructive damage. Not in this case, just because the Kashka has been doing an extremely good job in suppressing our Malin. <clears throat> okay, so at this moment, we're... I, I do mention we're not doing so bad we're just 3k behind even though that could build up very fast and quickly 3k isn't significant enough for me to be like oh we're gonna lose completely I mean I still fight even if we're 10k behind if I'm completely honest <laughs> you know I'm not someone that likes to quit or give up elo even if it looks like a complete loss so right here we are seeing some glimpse of good damage coming from the Gwen yeah very nice very good play <clears throat> Gwen is very hungry at this point she sees that she's doing a lot of damage I tried to rush decided not to run through there because I'm not gonna make it and I was trying to Vanguard tried my best to get to her but just couldn't get there okay so we are noticing that Gwen is doing a lot of damage. Um, advice as a captain. Your best MVP player make them even more MVP. Keep those alive. Because it, it only takes one really good hero to stay alive long enough to actually delete the whole team. In some cases. At that point I was like. Not the greatest choices right there. Taka could have gotten away. Especially if he would have continued getting towards me, I would have vanguard him to keep him alive. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm like, no, we're not going to be able to defend that, so I back off. Sometimes it's not great just sticking around to the turret. Even though it's so tempting to try to keep it alive, it's better not to if it's going to keep you alive. So we are here. 
I am following the Gwen. I mentioned that Gwen is doing a lot of damage. She is higher level than the Varya, so I decided to follow, try to protect her. At this point, I was like, oh, really good ult, but I don't have anything else to keep her alive, that which was very unfortunate. So I'm right here just trying to last as long as I can so that the Grace could just fall out of damage. At this point, I was very confused with that ping. I couldn't tell if... The Gwen was pinging the turret to protect it or pinging me for not keeping her alive enough. So I, I, at, that, at, the, uh, at that moment I was like, uh, are we gonna start getting some toxic chat towards me as well? Start getting the blame? I don't know if you could tell above me if I was actually doing that, but... <laughs> but yeah, I, I was a little worried. I was, I was ready to thumb down people. <laughs> uh, so, I think I end up fully upgrading my ultimate instead of my B ability, even though I think I realized, I think it's for Arden at this point, since the gauntlet got nerfed, the C ability, the ultimate got nerfed quite a bit over the time, over the patches, that I don't think it's worth fully upgrading that overdriving the ultimate anymore. I think A and B are, are better. A obviously helps keep someone alive from further away. B could help you position yourself a lot better. So right now, I'm just here trying to distract last as long. Luckily, I was able to survive, but I was trying. I stood there long enough or well, hoping that they'll target the CP buff a little bit more so I could steal it, but that wasn't the case. They weren't targeting the CP buff at all. They were targeting me instead, which was pretty good for them. They got a CP buff uncontested, and they got the gold for the CP buff and the experience instead of just stealing the the CP buff from me. And I'm probably worth nothing because I have no kills. I don't farm because I'm a captain, and yeah, I was probably worth only like a hundred gold, not probably less. I was dying, so I probably was worth like 50, 75. So basically the same as the the CP buff. Right there, I was a little disappointed with myself. I was like, I have a storm crown now. Maybe I could steal something because I do need it. I need the gold since I'm not getting anything from mid or any of the lanes. And that turned out to be a really bad mistake on my part. Was not worth getting the region. Sorry. Drop this. My little ruler. My little metal ruler that I like to touch. So right here, I am just stressing now. Taka doesn't seem to do that much damage. Ringo is also feeling pretty weak. And my Meline is also sometimes doing damage. But I, it was like kind of iffy. And the only person that was doing any sort of damage at this given time was Gwen. The person that I was fearing that they were going to be toxic towards me after having the long conversation with the Taka. But Taka is the one that was started the, instiga the instigating. Saying that he was going to throw. Once again, I'm just summarizing. I really wish I had the recording above me. <laughs> it's so much harder. I hate doing voiceovers. Okay, so we're here. I regretted that fountain so much. Not because I was trying, not because I I didn't want to save the Taka, mainly because Taka could have survived if I didn't even do that. So it was a waste of a Waste of a Fountain, which kind of risked us here. We could have lost this specifically, well, mainly due to the fact that we didn't have a Fountain and they could have rushed us. So right now, I'm just porting, trying to get more items just to make my Vanguard slightly, ever so slightly better. So this actually works out for us, I believe. So Gwen gets a kill. Gwen gets a double kill right there. I'm right here, Vanguard in 3 seconds, I, just, I I end up coming back because no one's doing the dragon. Wanted to assure that we don't lose that, that turret, because that, that's, that could be really bad. So I don't know who wanted to surrender, You're, you already know, I'm always refusing to surrender. So I'm right here, hoping that our Meline was going to be here, but wasn't. Decided to forget about it, start going towards the Gwen. 
and they yeah they kill each other which wasn't a total loss but they really sucked that I wasn't able to save so at this point I have dedicated myself to Gwen since Gwen was our strongest ally so at this point I decided to save my Vanguard my fountain and any ability that will help out the Gwen the, the fountain was still, if there's multiple of my allies hurt, then I'll use the fountain just because it'll, it'll help out the most, obviously. So yeah, at this point, I think this is a moment where I realized, nope, I need to save everything with the Gwen and I need to stay with the Gwen. Because Gwen is the reason why we actually survive, as you guys are, are gonna see right now. Massive damage done by the Gwen. Gwen is right here. I vanguard the Gwen, obviously. And yeah, at that point, I think at this moment, I realized after talking so much, I gotta keep the Gwen alive. As a captain, that's my only goal for this match, and hopefully, we could win this match with this Gwen carrying everyone's weight. And obviously, I was gonna be her pillar for that. So there she is, rushing in, got a kill, just decided to take one minion, and I'm right here just babysitting the Gwen, because I decided to just stay with her. I really wanted that, <laughs> I wanted the ambient. <laughs> so I'm right here, I'm still going with the Gwen, <laughs> as that's going to be the trend of this match, because th this, is, this is my light source. I see this Gwen and I was like... I think this is my only way I'm going to be able to win this match. So I'm following the... Uh, <laughs> so much praise is going to come to the Gwen. So I decided to follow the Gwen. It was a good thing I decided to follow. I was going to head towards the shop. But decided to follow the Gwen. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to keep her alive. Kashka is still bursting. I used all my abilities. I used my fountain on the single Gwen. And I do point that out. I said, if it was... If it gave me any chance to give... Gwen a fighting chance I will use it so I used fountain even though it was just for Gwen and that's it Let's test these upgrades. so once again right here I'm hoping that someone was coming with me but no 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 one was here so I was like I'm a uh, I'm gonna leave and I just stick around just because I don't want to I don't want to leave my allies alive uh, alone even if it risks me getting killed, I want to keep them alive. I'm still trying to be the best captain. And at this point, I'm like right here. I have a Vanguard ready. I am willing to go in with this Gwen. And I'm going to be saving this Vanguard for Gwen. I even apologize up there in my muted self. Like, I'm sorry, Malene. I'm saving this Vanguard for the, for the Gwen. And as you can see, I'm still continuing. On the um, vanguarding the the Gwen and not the Malin. Not that I have any hard feelings for the Malin. It's just that as a captain, I see that that the way that we're gonna win is by by just helping out our best player at the moment. Not saying that the Malin is bad, the Ringo is bad. It's just not, not everyone. <laughs> Everyone has their bad games, and since this was kind of a bad game overall, Gwen is the only person that was able to go far high enough that she has the fighting chance to be on par with the enemy. If anything, she probably took all the bounties, that's why she's so far ahead. So I gotta keep her alive. Keeping her alive will give us partial bounty for Meline and myself. But, yeah. I mean, that's sometimes what you have to do. If you're a captain and you see someone that's doing absolutely destroying the enemy, you gotta save that person. Forget everyone else and just save that person. And it'll work out. In most cases. But sometimes, I don't know. Maybe the enemy could be overpowering just for that one person. But as you can see, it, it's working out really well. <laughs> I tried to vanguard the melee, man. That went to a waste. So right now I'm here once again fountain fountain just because the Gwen is low. But I wanna I wanna keep her alive. Keeping her alive gave us 
is giving us a fighting chance to end the game at the moment. So I did I did vanguard the Ringo just because I knew that Gwen was in a safe position and she wasn't gonna be the one targeted and I knew I was gonna get my vanguard before she was gonna be in trouble. Again. So at this point, it's GG. I just couldn't believe it. After all that talk, oh, when did talk about? And there you go. Gwen is also saying like, "What? We were gonna lose? Nah, not in my point." So I'm actually very happy that we were able to. Did I? Did that? Did that come as a death? I don't really want to go back because then it's gonna screw up my sinking. But here I am talking about the match, really thinking about like who should I thumb up. So I thumbed. I, that's why I'm I'm taking it off, taking it on because I was trying to remember remember who was talking trash, who was being toxic. From what I remember, both Ringo and Malene, even though they were losing and they were trying and they weren't instigating anything. And in the end, I thumbed up Gwen because she's the one that actually carried everyone and she she was only being defensive against the Taka because the Taka I guess was blaming and risking to throw just because of vision issues. And I was gonna not thumb down Taka just because he in the end he didn't really throw, he was actually playing. But I, in the end I end up saying, you know what, I have to thumb him down. He was being toxic in the match and because toxicity causes people to play a little bit angrier, they're not going to play to the fullest potential, basically. And I did. I, I don't know if I gave this example a little earlier or it was during my mute itself that I said, it's like driving. When you're trying to get your license or whatever, one of the questions is if you're being very emotional, you're not supposed to drive. That technically is ticket worthy. Just because people won't be driving safe and not thinking clearly and not being aware of their surroundings. Especially if someone's angry, they're going to have road rage. They're going to drive faster. They're not going to give anything. They're they're sad. They're just not going to be aware of their surroundings because they're probably What's just my around. Mic? It's the same thing with you. the game. You're angry. You're going to be over aggressive, over extended uh. doing things that's going to put you in the bad position. And sad. I don't think anybody gets sad. They might get sad. If someone's talking so much mess, but whatever. But those are the builds. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Me analyzing. I don't even think there was that much analyzing. It was just me summarizing the stupid match. And trying to hope that I get to some people. Or I don't know. Anyways. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, you guys are freaking awesome. Um, I'm probably going to cut to the point where the elo is shown. So, Oh, never mind. I talked long enough that it did it on its own. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we were at 2055 in the last match. You can go on the previous uh, video. You can check that out. I was at 2055. So I am posting every match I had. I don't know how we won. We're still keeping the streak, which is pretty amazing. And yeah, after having this frustration of having this freaking muted video i hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one for that i'm guaranteeing i will post tomorrow yes i will guarantee that i will post tomorrow even if i'm lazy or have a lot of things to do until then i'll see you guys tomorrow later guys